Good. Step right up when the Bluegrass Stakes this weekend thanks to a phenomenal whipping performance from jockey Liam Hollins. This is the fifth time Hollins has whipped a horse into the winner's circle this year. Is he the best horse flogger alive? I hope you like sitting next to naked old Russian men because we're answering that question in the steam room. Hang your wrinkled shirts on the doorway. You're in the steam room. Alongside John McCarthy, Glad I'm Kim the man and Matt. We're both naked, you're covered in sea salt, and I've got a broom made of oak leaves. I hope you're ready to get hit real hard. I paid $40 for it, Tim. Then open up your pores. The steam room begins now. Max Step Right Up started a little flat-footed in this weekend's race, but Hollins really beat him into gear after the half-mile yep, post. That's right. Tim Hollins is one of the most skilled, most intuitive horse beaters I've seen in a long time. So we're seeing the turning point of the race right well, here. Well, yes, he gets off to a good rhythm with the frequency and intensity of his beatings, but he'll syncopate his blows so uh -huh. the horse is always unprepared. Uh -huh. Bam, bam, out, <laughs> and there goes the horse. I mean, what a performance. It's like he was born with a whip in his hand. Well, sure, but a lot of it is hard work. Hollins builds his endurance by beating horses in their pens, okay. and he's a great believer in the value of video study. Sure. He watches hours and hours of himself beating horses. Great work ethic. And he's not married to the whip like all the other jobs. No, he'll give step right up a kick in the ribs or a punch in the throat every few lengths. Can't teach that. They say that there hasn't been a jockey who whipped with such intensity since Duke Payne. Oh, the Duke. Legend has it. All he had to do was walk into a stable and horses would start urinating out of fear. That is impressive. Mac, your skin is covered in oak leaves and steam. It's been rubbed raw. It's time for the final sweat. I'm going to pour a gallon of ice cold water on you. It's only going to make more steam, but I promise I promise you, it will be invigorating. Are you sure you're up to the challenge? My chest is inflamed, Tim. Lay it on me. Coming at you. Horse Torturer of the Year. Does Hollins have it locked down? I don't see anyone coming close. Okay. Uh, Ariel Monty has an outside shot with his eye-whipping technique. Innovative. Chris Sanders is having a great year, but his horse is near death. You gotta strike the right balance. Now, you spoke to Hollins about the Kentucky Derby. Does he have any tricks up his sleeve? Well, Hollins did tell me that he plans to start with his torch whip and then move to pouring acid on his horse's tail. Really? This is the best part. Apparently, he plans to cut off his horse's head on the back stretch. Incredible. He tells me that the horse will keep running at top speed for several lengths right across the finishing. Wow. With no functioning brain, there's no natural instinct to slow down to right. protect the muscles against impact. Well, this is allowed. Well, as far as I know, there are no rules in horse racing. You horse. just procure a horse and get it across the finish line by any means necessary. Mac, you have survived the steam room. Go pick the oak leaves off your face and meet me at the masseuse. Oh, I shall look forward to that. I could use a deep rub myself. <laughs>